All right, here we go with question 19. Um, we see an equation here and it's wanting to know which of the following steps can be used to solve for x. This is a tricky question because um, only one of these are really something that you can do um, and it doesn't follow the rule that we have of distributing when we have parentheses. Um, so the easiest way to do something like this is to go down and eliminate the things that won't work. Um, so I'm going to start with adding 11 to both sides. Can I add 11 to both sides? No, I cannot. This is trapped inside of my parentheses because my 9 here has to be either distributed or moved before I can get to my 11. So I know that cannot be the answer. Letter B, multiplying both sides by 9. This is 9 times everything inside of here. The opposite of multiplication is division. So if I multiply on both sides, I'm not doing the opposite here. So it is not going to undo or eliminate that 9. So I would not do that. Um, letter C, divide both sides by 9. Um, this is being multiplied here. If I divided both sides by 9, you would see 9 divided by 9 is 1, so those cancel, and this becomes a 2, which leaves me with x minus 11. The second part of C says we would then add 11 to both sides to give me x equals 13. Um, that seems like it would work. We're just going to look at letter D and see if that one would work. Um, add 11 to both sides and then multiply by both sides by 9. That one will not work because, again, we cannot add 11 here. Um, so the only one that would work, and it's actually a trick in math, it does not work all the time, it works with a problem like this, would be dividing both sides by 9 in order to eliminate rather than needing to have to distribute. Um, so your answer is C.